was Gucci U2. It's Pat Brady, you dig? Marvelous blunts in the building, you dig what I'm saying? I am live and direct on a great Monday. You dig what I'm saying? Been a great day so far. I hope everybody had a great weekend. I hope everybody has a great week, you dig what I'm saying? And if you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe to Marvelous Blunts. A shot Rocky. Why haven't you already? Man, y'all already see the sweater. Y'all see the Slytherin sweater. Y'all see me super slime. <laughs> oh, I, let me not say that. But <laughs> I am here today, man. Y'all know, man, I like to do videos from um, it's phase four trashy. It's phase five trashy. You dig what I'm saying? I, I really go in depth into the MCU's lineup for the phases. Since we already did the phases, we did all the phases, I think, for Comic-Con, I think like that, something like that, I decided I am going to go over 2023 Marvel MCU properties, products, anything like that, 2023, I'm going to talk about it today. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this Marvel 2023, and we're going to talk about what's coming up. What we got expected? Are they going to have a home run year? Or are they going to have a trash year? You dig what I'm saying? That, that, that's what I want to know because phase four was, was super garbage. Phase four was super trash. You dig what I'm saying? I really did not rock with phase four. Like I really expected so much more out of phase four because they was going with something different. It was going with something that they hadn't done and it all was trash. We know we know how we treated Marvel, Marvel, how Marvel's Blunt did phase four in this channel. You dig what I'm saying? That is not a secret. That is not a secret because this is the new phase. This is this this is coming 2020, 2023, 2023. We got you know what I'm saying. We got some shows coming, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I can't lie, it, it, it's some shows coming out. And, you know, I wasn't really fond on none of the Phase 4 shows, but, you know what I'm saying, this looked like a good lineup, you dig what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and get it started, get it cracking, you dig what I'm saying, for this uh, Marvel. Now, look at here. We got Quantumania. Y'all know me. I am an Ant-Man wise fan so you know me i am geeked up i am excited for this movie i finally feel like they giving and man his just do his movies they keep making him like a filler character and making him somebody you know what i'm saying that's just not really that big but he is an avenger though you feel what i'm saying but i honestly feel like he's gonna die spoiler alert if i spoiled it <laughs> but i think Ant man gonna die I think his daughter gonna take his place as like the new Ant Man. I think they really gonna set up this new Avengers. That's what I'm really thinking. But you know, they they got Kang going. You know what I'm saying? They got they got they introducing uh, another uh, variant of Kang that you know this ties in right to Loki. This is the this is the, the Kang that he who remains warned Loki about. You dig what I'm saying? So we are gonna see what happens with Ant Man this one. But I have high expectations for this. I think that they have realized with Marvel that they needed to just stick to the status quo and they're going to start bringing everything together. I really do feel like they're going to connect the dots. That's real talk. I really do. Because if they don't connect the dots with at least this year, it's going to be a lot of doubts going into phase five. And this is the beginning of phase five with Ant-Man. And I'm going to keep it a buck in the beam, man. I'm just rooting for Ant-Man. I'm rooting for uh, Paul Rudd. Everybody a part of that uh Peyton Reed, the dude who um who direct the movie. Like, I'm just really one the good trilogy. Uh, I feel like we haven't got any good trilogies since um Cap and Iron Man. So we finally get because Thor's trilogy was trash. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Fourth movie was just too much. They could have ended it at Ragnarok, to be honest with you. They could have actually ended Thor's trilogy at Ragnarok. So I just really want them to end Ant-Man right. I hope this is like not the end for Ant-Man, but I do feel like he is going to die. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and fake it. I'm not going to sit here in front. I do feel like he's going to die. But um, it would be nice if he lives. It would be nice if uh, his daughter's a cool character. So we're going we gonna to see this February, February 17th. You dig what I'm saying? So boom. Then we're going to go to the spring. We got what? If season two, what if season two 
Uh, I was a big fan of what if we were big fans of what if on the channel the whole year. You know what I'm saying? Like, you hear me? Like this, 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 this show was probably the best out of all of not all the Marvel shows, but it's in the top five for sure. What if was hard? The first season was hard. Kill like I definitely would recommend you go watch the first uh, first seat first season of what if. I feel like it set up a lot of multiverse stuff that I thought was going to happen in Doctor Strange, and it didn't happen. You dig what I'm saying? So I was very, 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 very disappointed in um, Doctor Strange, how it was handled, because how they did the multiverse and what if. So I'm excited for what if season two. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to see where they're going to take it. Uh, some of the stuff was like canon, but I didn't like uh Doctor Strange Supreme or Dark Doctor Strange in live action. And I didn't like Peggy Carter in live action. I mean, I, I kind of liked her. She was cool in the animation toward the end. Her episode wasn't that great, but towards the end of whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was rocking with it. But I'm excited for season two. You know what I'm saying? It's it's messed up. Chad, we're not going to be back. Rest in peace, Chad, with Bozeman. So Black Panther not going to be back. But I'm excited to see where they're going to take the story. They had some good stories. One of my favorite episodes um on disney plus shows was the what if ultra episode like actually you know everything went through he connected with vision like oh man that was a my good marvel right there dog so what if season two is uh in spring they say but don't don't quote me they said that some of these shows have been pushed back some of these shows have been pushed back you feel what i'm saying so do not do not quote me it says spring online but they, they they said today that some of the joints got might get moved back but i don't believe the internet now so we're gonna stick with spring secret invasion is also this spring i mean it's samuel jackson dog og to the game i'm talking about true actor he didn't brought so much to this character of nick fury you dig what i'm saying so I'm interested in Secret Invasion, but they got to do it right, bro. Phase four was an entire joke. Everything Marvel put out, like, past, like, in game, all jokes, all games, all kiki ha ha, kiki ha ha. If y'all going to do Secret Invasions, from what I hear about the comics, from what I've heard about the comics, it is the real deal. It is not, it is not a, uh, a scenario on Marvel history that you could just play with. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. You feel me? So, I really hope they do Secret Invasion right. Um, Grace Randolph has said this, like, will be tight. I really hope, as I agree with her point on this, I really hope that real characters that we thought were like, you know, Marvel characters that we've been seeing for a while are scrolls. That would be a good twist. Because other than that, you know, I can't have jokes with Secret Invasion. It's going to hurt my heart. Like, come on, dog. Don't do not don't do Samuel Jackson like that because they already did him like that in um, Captain Marvel. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I, I really don't have any super expectations for Secret Invasion. But I'm I'm just gonna just rock with it. I'm gonna believe that Kevin Feige about to get this on on point and on path. You know what I'm saying? He got to at this point. You feel me? Now we're gonna go to May, May 5th. This is like a Marvel day. This is like a Marvel day. Spider Man. Everything. Every everything Marvel really comes out on May 5th for real. For real. So they are dropping. You know the guys. Last film Guardians of the Galaxy three. You feel what I'm saying? Um. Guards of Galaxy three, man. They definitely, they definitely dropping that, man. It's, it's, it's interesting because this is really James Gunn last movie. As y'all know, James Gunn, he made his way to, you know, he transitioned to uh, um, DC. Like he about to start working for DC. So it's just gonna be real interesting to see um, what they're gonna do with the Guardians. I do think. Some people that's important in the Guardians are going to die. I think it's going to be a great movie. You dig what I'm saying? Um, but 
when it comes to movies, I don't know, man. Like, Guardians is cool, but Guardians, they have a fan base, but they don't. So I don't know how people are going to receive this or if it's going to do numbers or is this going to really mean anything. Like, it might just... Because James Gunn is the GOAT, but he's had misses. Because people like the Suicide Squad. I do not like the, the Suicide Squad. I thought the Suicide Squad was terrible. But I was rocking. I was super rocking with Peacemaker, though. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like a... It's like a back and forth thing, like you know what I'm saying. Like I, I, I'm, I'm excited for Guards of the Galaxy. I'm excited for them to, the, the, another trilogy. I'm excited for them to end, but you know I don't have any expectations. You feel what I'm saying? Like I really don't because Phase Four let me down with a lot. It was trashy. Phase Four was super trashy, super bad, super trash, and um, I, I just didn't agree with a lot of things they did in Phase Four. So. I'm just ex- I, I'm I'm not really expecting anything out of the ordinary from them. You feel me? Because like, oh man. But I really do. I'm a, on a positive note. It'd be nice if Guardians is a good film. You know what I'm saying? Because then we could talk great about it on Marvel Blunts. You did. So this is a. I guess. Well, we'll do these shows first. We're gonna do these shows first, and. This might be a show that got pushed back, but Echo. I'm going to keep it a bean. Shout out to the actor that plays Echo. Echo. Besides her little role, whatever is going to happen with her and Kingpin, spoiler, nobody care about Echo, bro. I'm going to just keep it a buck. Like, nobody care about this show. They say they're going to have Kingpin and Daredevil on there. You did. I ain't really like Kingpin. On Hawkeye, so this is gonna be the continuation of uh, you know what I'm saying, like Kingpin and Echo. This Kingpin that I saw on Hawkeye, I'm good, bro. I'm good, bro. I could just wait till Daredevil. You know what I'm saying? They already to use Daredevil and She Hulk. He saved that show, saved that show, completely saved that show. Even though I was right when I talked about Hawkeye and Kingpin being in the show, I definitely was super, super, duper, duper, duper upset about how they made his character. You know what I'm saying? Like they made him into a chump, but I got a lot of hope for Daredevil, but I do not have a lot of hope for, um, what's it called, for Echo. I mean, I'm talking about to keep it a whole 100,000. I do not care about Echo. I am not looking forward to Echo. So, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You dig what I'm saying? But it's a show. If y'all going to watch it, y'all going to watch it. It might be a skip because Marvelous Blunt said we are doing skip this year. Now, this next show, I can't lie. It was the show. It's my number one show under Hawkeye. I think it's time. I, I would give Hawkeye a second to this show. No, nah. Hawkeye's my number one. This is my number two show, but it was my number one for a minute. Man, that Loki season two. You dig what I'm saying? Loki season two. We out here, people. Uh, I think Loki got all the budget for like the first couple phase four shows. And man, they did that. You know what I'm saying? Besides a lot of like a lot of little talking and acting, whatever, but like it was really good. Loki, man, they introduced a big bad like in a different way. Like they never have introduced a big bad like that. You know what I'm saying? Like through a show. So we got He Who Remains, who's a variant of Kane. Then the cliffhanger at the end with Sylvie when he told her, he said, Sylvie, don't kill me. Please do not kill me or don't do anything wild because my other variant is going to be super wild, going to be super crazy. You dig what I'm saying? And she did it anyway. And she has caused a new variant to pop up and show up and it is uh i am i am not i am not excited to see where that's gonna go <laughs> man loki i'm i mean i'm excited to see where, where it's gonna go with kang but now like loki is like in the mix now he's in the mix so i'm excited for season two my boy owen wilson did his thing i'm an owen wilson fan so he did his thing. Uh, Tom Hiddleston did his thing. Everybody really did their thing on Loki for the most part, to be honest. I'm just excited to see with the story they're going to go next to, where they, how they're going to go to the next story. Uh, 
And can they can they be better than season one? You know what I'm saying? Can they do that? I believe they can, though. I really do uh, with the people. But they don't got the same director, so watch out for that. Now, this movie is not in the MCU. I don't know if it's in the MCU. It, it may or may not be. It may or may not be in the MCU, or they might have MCU stuff in it, but my dog, Miles Morales, you did. I, I'm going to keep it a bean. Like, you know, everybody be giving the little gripes to Miles Morales, whatever. I thought Into the Spider-Verse was fun. I thought it was fresh. I thought it was new. You know what I'm saying? Like, kill. We never seen no Spider-Man like that, Mo. Like, you've never seen nothing like that. And, and, and people was like, oh, it's a black spider man. Oh man, forget all that, bro. He was Lidiani. Um, I love the sun, the sunflower song, the song that went with the movie. Like that was a, the first movie was really good. And I just think with animation, you could just do whatever, you know what I'm saying? So they could really um extend and go past those limits because I mean, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you can do that. So uh with with, with Cartoons, animation. So I'm really, really excited for Into the Spider Verse uh, two. I, I, I really feel like it's going to um, be next level. You see all the Spider Man they're going to have in it. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be a crazy film, dog. I'm, I I really can't wait to see it. And um, that's why I'm excited to get my AMC pass because I'm like, dog, I need to be in these movies, man. We need to be in these movies this year, God willing. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I, I'm ready for in the Spider-Verse. Now, this is the last movie of the year, surprisingly. You know what I'm saying? Marvel normally got something like in the fall or the winter, but surprisingly, in the summertime, in the summer, uh, the Marvel, if they want... If you want some great content coming up this year, the Marvel's going to give it to you. This is going to give it to you. This, I don't even know why we even doing this, dog. Real talk. Captain Marvel was trash. It had good, no, it had some good little elements when I watched it again. It wasn't that bad, but it was bad. They put that movie in between Infinity War and Endgame when they shot, probably should have put Black Widow right there, having us think, oh, this is going to be plot, this is going to be key, this is going to be da-da-da-da-da. Man, it ain't mean nothing, dog. Man, Captain Marvel was a poor excuse for um a Marvel movie, man. And I really, really didn't like it. I didn't like Brie Larson's After Effect. I didn't like her in game. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't like her in game. And then the Marvel, Miss Marvel was super trash. It was super trash. So I don't want to see the Marvels, but they're making this movie. I'm going to keep it a bean. Like, if I go see that movie, I promise you it's going to be on a day off early as possible. Early as possible, if I even want to give it money, I might just wait till it come out on Disney and just miss out on that movie. Facts, but overall, I'm gonna give my overall. You know, I, I said a lot of shows, I'm gonna give my overall, and they might have some specials too, so you don't know. I'm gonna give my overall, my overall grade for this. I'm gonna be real with you, it's so okay. I'm going to go each one. I'm going to go each one. I'm going to go each one. Ant-Man, lighters up. Guardians, lighters up. What if, lighters up. Spider-Verse, lighters up. The Marvels, no lighters up. Echo, no lighters up. And it's sad because, like, those are the female-led joints, and I'm like, bro, I want to enjoy female-led joints. I love Kate Bishop. I love Yelena. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love them elements, and I really hope I love Cassie Lane. You know what I'm saying? But, bro, y'all trying to force these shows on us this year. So, I mean, we had some lighters up for some movies, but overall, I'm going to get this like an 8, 7.58 for 2023 Marvel. You know what I'm saying? What do y'all think of 2023 Marvel? Do y'all think it's going to be fire? Do y'all think it's going to be trash? What do y'all think it's going to be this year with Marvel? Let me know in the comments below. 
like comment and subscribe to marvelous blunts man we we y'all know we definitely went irking and uh man shout out to tone um shout out to everybody rocking with us man and uh yeah man i'm out man it's pop you did hey where's